Ooh. Wait. Mmm, that feels good. Oh, I could for sure slather this all over my body. There's a bunch of products in here. Five products one day. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. And today, as you can see, we have another advent calendar. This is the one from Cult Beauty from 2023. I cannot wait to get into this. I'm going to be opening every single day and you guys are going to be seeing what we get every single day. So if you don't want to know what is in here, do not watch this video and or just skip into the chapters. Maybe you can scan them real quick. I will have everything chaptered out for you. I purchased this, I believe last week and it came within a week. I was very impressed actually. It shipped out the very next day cause I did buy it pretty late on the night that I picked it up and it was, oh my goodness, so expensive. I'm not even kidding. Like I, I think this is like a $300 advent calendar. Kind of insane, but honestly from what I scanned, I tried really hard not to look at exactly what was in here but from what I scanned it was a lot of really big luxury brands so that kind of justified it for me honestly <laughs> yeah so this was $280 but there was a 15% off coupon code and I used that with my order they did also send this really amazing like skincare goodie bag I don't want to get too into it because we have a lot to go through but I will link in the description box down below exactly what is in here it's the cult beauty skin saviors goodie bag it says the price was was 343 I think the the value of it but it was free with my purchase we have another advent calendar after this one I bought this space and K one as well two UK based brands and I'm really excited for them because you hear all the time advent calendars in other countries are way better than the ones that we have here in America and honestly from what I can see so far I agree. I'm going to be bursting at the seams with joy after this one. I'm absolutely certain of that. This is an incredibly hefty box. Like it is beautiful. They have some detailing right here. I don't know if you can see it. At first I thought I got water on it, but no, it's actually the box. It does still kind of look holiday themed to me, but honestly, I think it's very evergreen. Like I don't plan on getting rid of this box. I mean, I paid $300 for this box. I'm gonna keep it. I have it propped up on a chair right here. So like, I can like have it here as I'm opening it. Ta -da! I love that there are little like pull out boxes in this one instead of having to break apart the box. That's incredible. It's going to be great to keep on hand. Oh, I'm so excited. Without further ado, let's see what Cult Beauty has in store for us, shall we? I'm just going to be letting you guys know exactly what the product is and my quick thoughts on it. I don't want to talk too much into detail because this video is going to be like an hour long. <laughs> Number one is right up here. So let's go ahead and pull that little cubby out. Okay, have some, ooh, oh my gosh. Stop, this is full size? This is the Say Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. I believe this is the full size and I believe this is the original color. I think that they have two colors now. I actually have this specific one already. I love it. I think that it's an amazing primer. It really adds a little bit of hydration to the skin and I love the gel formulation because it doesn't feel incredibly heavy like some illuminating primers can feel, especially if you have oily skin like I do. So wow, that is an incredible one to have. That's so exciting. So number two, kind of a longer box here. These boxes are actually quite deep as you can see okay so we have something packaged any guesses I'm gonna guess it's a candle it is it's Joe loves roasted chestnuts candle I've never heard of this brand it must not be as popular here in the States as it is in the UK wow that smells incredible it kind of smells floral um I don't really smell too much chestnut it's clean it's a little floral I suppose there's chestnut in that but that smells super yummy by the way it did come with this booklet with the products and the description of them let me see let me try to flip through real quick and see if it's in order nope it's not in order of day we are just going to look at this later i wasn't really expecting a candle which is really fun all right let's find number three. Oh, number three is actually down here you guys can't see it but it's this bottom right hand corner so i'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out of there oh 
We have a Medicaid Crystal Retinol Ceramide Eye 3 Smooth and Lift Eye Cream. It says, wake up to a youthful looking eye area with Crystal Retinol Ceramide Eye 3, a next generation gentle release vitamin A eye cream featuring 0.03% twin encapsulated retinaldehyde. I have been really enjoying eye creams lately. I just love the extra nourishment that it adds to the under eyes. I do have some pretty deep set creases right under my eyes that are starting to form. Eye creams that have retinols in them I think are going to be my best bet to kind of prevent that or keep it from happening sooner. I do hear really good things about it, but me personally, I've never used anything Medicaid. So I'm excited to see how this does. Number four is right down here. I love that each little spot has the paper in it, like the confetti paper. Here we have the Kinship Super Melt, the Vegan Lip Jelly Mask. I actually have had this in the past. It's a very thin consistency. It's kind of slippery versus being thicker on the lips, and I feel like it's really nice as like a reapplication between like my lip color, whether it be a lipstick, a lip gloss, or what have you. It's a melt-in hydration plus gentle exfoliation for plumper, softer lips. I actually did not know it was an exfoliation. It has papaya enzyme ferment, hyaluronic acid, and sea buckthorn berry. Also, how beautiful is this blue? And it is a squeezy tube, and it's a silicone tip, which honestly I feel like is very nice. I love little details like that, something that just makes it a little bit more enjoyable to apply on the lips. I think that makes it a little bit more fun day number five where is she oh it's this big box right here pull that out i love that there's also artwork on the actual fronts of the boxes i think that's a really nice touch Ooh, is this a scrub oh they're gummies hair gain hair gummies supports healthy hair natural apple and berry flavor Ooh, and it helps with nails so that's a big thing for me i have very weak nails right now they're actually doing pretty good i just removed my manicurist gel polishes and every time i do manicures manicures my nails end up being so strong afterwards so i'm really happy about that there is a serving size of two gummies there are 30 servings what is in here and again, organic pea shoot, vitamin E, C, niacin, B3, biotin, zinc, and sel selenium, selenium. Chew two gummies per day for adults only. Ooh, look at that color. That's pretty. Okay, let's eat two of them. Mmm, it's not as bouncy as the kind of gummies that you bite right through. Dang, those are good. They're kind of sour and I love sour gummies. The end of it kind of tastes like a Twizzler. Dang, those are good. Oh, I'm for sure gonna eat these. Mmm, yummy. How fun is this? The apple cider vinegar gummies, like it kind of smelled like that when I first opened it, but it doesn't taste like that at all. Obviously there's no apple cider vinegar, but those have kind of like a funny aftertaste. This doesn't have an aftertaste at all. It legit tastes like a candy. All right, day number six, we have a little box right here. So let's go ahead and pull that one. <gasps> Is this a lipstick? Ooh, it's a Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint Blush Stick. I actually do not have any of these blush sticks. I don't know if I thought if I knew it was a thing. Did I know that? Ooh, I don't have any of these. So this is in the shade Coral Cutie. I love Huda Beauty for their complexion products. The concealer is incredible. The setting powder, the loose and the baked one are both incredible. I have both of them. And the loose one changed the makeup game for me for sure. So I really appreciate Huda Beauty for the amount of makeup artistry that they're able to create. So we'll swatch her right here. Ooh, that's a really pretty color and it goes on really smoothly and let's blend it out it feels very dewy really nice and creamy and I like that it's almost like a sheer tint right there so I feel like that's gonna be really nice and buildable as well this color is pretty bright but I think I can actually make it work this looks like something that I would wear during the summertime I think it's interesting that they added a bright like blush shade to the advent calendar but then again I don't really know what shades they have of these sticks again that's another full size are these all gonna be full size products day seven so this is gonna be the end of the first week oh I thought that was seven seven is right down here so let's pop that open oh this is not a full-size one but it's still a pretty large I would say this is like a deluxe sample 
full size. So we have the number three hair perfecter. It says repairs and strengthens all hair types. I have used this. I have had the full size and honestly, this feels like it's not much smaller than the full size. The full size is quite small, I'm not gonna lie. But like I've mentioned in the past, if you do not need protein in your hair, like if what you need is moisture, not protein, Olaplex may not be the brand for you. However, I don't think that it could be as damaging if you use Olaplex treatments once in a while, you know? So unless you have very damaged hair, very broken hair follicles, and you really need to repair them, kind of seal your hair back in, and help with the actual bonds of your hair, Olaplex would be perfect for you. But if what you're looking for is strictly moisture, I would say only use Olaplex as treatment every once in a while maybe once a month maybe twice a month you know but adding the actual treatment the number three hair perfector in this box I think is really wonderful because everyone's hair can use a little bit more structure you know day eight where are you there she is day number eight is right up top I'll show you guys first <gasps> wait the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to try this. That is so exciting. Now that I've kind of gotten my acne in control, I'm focusing on not only my acne, but also the acne scarring. So vitamin Cs have been on my radar and I love Summer Fridays, the lip butter bombs. I mean, they're so incredible that I already love the brand so much. The skin tint is really beautiful. It's a little bit more dewy for my oily skin friends, but it's still really nice. I've heard so many good things about this vitamin C serum. Two forms of vitamin C and soothing squalane. What a beautiful tube as well. Like, look at how beautiful that is. Let's see what the texture is on this. I love a good runny vitamin C. Oh, it has a little bit of a fragrance to it it seems like an added fragrance that makes me a little nervous hopefully it's okay oh wow but that smells really beautiful it smells like a product that they would use on you at a facial or in a spa or something that would technically be the start of the second week which is such a great start I'm excited for whoever actually gets this and opens it on each day okay number nine this one right here let's take that one out oh it's the paper the paper is stuck hold on Oh, there's two things in here. We have a Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum and we have the Paula's Choice Clear Pore Normalizing Cleanser, a blemish prone skin friendly cleanser, which is absolutely perfect, you guys. I was just talking about how I do have acne. This, I know, is a very expensive brand. Let's see how big it is. Okay, so it's a tiny little baby. Oh, it's so cute at the same time. Like, I hope that I can get at least two uses out of this thing. Look how small that is. I'm not complaining. You know, if these products or this brand is as good as people say, I will be able to tell a difference before I finish this little baby bottle. So I'm definitely going to be trying those products out because I'm still using cleansers that have salicylic acid in them in the mornings, but I don't touch my nighttime cleanser, which is my Panoxyl. That one has benzoyl peroxide, which has been working so incredibly well, just switching them off morning and night. My skin has never been more clear and more happy. So we're on day 10. It's this longer, skinnier box right here. So I wonder what's inside dr levy cell matrix mask is this a hair mask oh okay so it's a face and eye mask okay i'm going to have to look into this i've never heard of this brand this actually is such a great size for a mask because i don't mask often i just have a lot of serums and toners and stuff that i use in my skincare and most of my masking are just like diy sheet masks or sheet masks i'll use the occasional like clay mask the no beauty one i still use whenever i have like acne popping up the i'm from honey mask is one of my go-to's as well as the ginseng mask but other than those I'm really bad at masking just because I already have like a pretty extensive skincare routine but I think that I am definitely down to try this restore replenish restructure restructure that's an interesting way to market it what are you restructuring your skincare barrier it restructured like you have a whole new nose or something I'm not as excited about this one not because I don't think it's going to be a good product but because I just don't know anything about 
about this brand. But if it's in here, I'm gonna trust that it's a good product. <laughs> Where are you? Okay, so day 11 is right down here, the very bottom right-hand side for me. Let's see what she has to offer. This looks like Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals Lip Gloss Balm in the shade Heart. Shiny Gloss Plus Nourishing Balm. Non-sticky formula is made with cold-pressed sea buckthorn and plum oils for smoother, healthier-looking lips. I wonder if it's sheer or if it's super pigmented slight scent nothing aggressive which is great oh that's pretty that's really good pigmentation okay let, let's put this on we have yet to get a lip gloss or lip color in the box so i'm excited you guys know i love my lip colors mm, that feels good oh that's pretty it just added a little bit more pink to my lips definitely very glossy look how glossy that is i like the sheerness of this color because i feel like it'll suit more people versus if they put like a straight up pink lipstick that was this shade because i don't know if i could wear something like that oh it's gooping you see that maybe i have too much lip product on <laughs> do you guys still do that the little lip trick where you go like that and then everything around the perimeter of the center of your lip comes off. I do that all the time still. All right, so number 12, I see her right there, right up top. Herlum London, Herlum London, Copa Dew All Over Nourishing Oil, White Tea and Cedarwood. Okay, it's a lightweight Brazilian all over oil. It has Amazonian co copaiba, passion fruit, black currant, and cold pressed rosehip and burritus oils can be used on face, body, and hair. Okay, that's really nice. A very multitasking type of oil. I like the size. I think that this is very usable. What is it? White cedar, white tea and cedar wood. I like that it has this little stopper on here so it doesn't just pour out oil. So it's a little bit cleaner. Oh, that, oh, that smells good. I didn't smell it at first when it was in the bottle. Oh, that smells good. It's a warm floral, I guess, but it's slightly sweet. Oh my gosh, that smells good. Feels very lightweight, like they say. It is still gonna be an oil though, guys, so don't expect this to dry down like, you know, a thin lotion. It's still going to feel like an oil. Actually, I barely feel it on my hand now. Oh, it absorbed into the skin like nothing. Even my fast absorbing Osea body oil does not absorb this fast. Like, I feel like this feels like how a lotion would after you spread it. There's no stickiness. Sometimes when you put body oil on your chest and stuff, I don't think my hair would like stick to it really nasty or anything. Oh, I could for sure slather this all over my body. Wow, this is good. Oh, it's so good. I bet it's really expensive. You guys let me know if you've used this brand before. Oh, I can't wait to try this on my hair. I don't know if I would put this on my face though because when something is heavily fragranced, it does scare me a little bit to put on my face. Wow, we've gotten a little bit of everything so far, which is so great. We got some body products, hair products. We got candles, we got makeup. Lucky number 13. Oh, right here, this giant box right here. There's three products in here. Happy Endings Nourishing Balm. Hair by Sam McKnight. Okay, a hair balm. I was like, happy endings. Wow, I, I don't think I have come across a product that says that it like softens and smooths as well as creates texture. So that's going to be really interesting. I can't wait to try this one out. Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Therapies Deep Conditioning Treatment. Wow, this is beautiful packaging. It looks like a pre-shampoo treatment oh and then we have amika which i am familiar with amika hydro rush intense moisture leave-in conditioner i have not used this yet but i do really enjoy amika products i think they're so beautiful and nourishing that is actually a brand that i would highly recommend if what you're looking for is moisture in your hair amika has incredible nourishing products like the soul food hair mask i use that all the time and it's in my shower currently and i love it it smells divine as well day 14 so this would be the end of the second week so day 14 where are you little box right here right down at the bottom center it's a super goop sunscreen okay unseen sunscreen i actually got this already in the ulta advent calendar so i have two of these i'm pretty sure that they're the same size i've expressed to you guys that i prefer the glow screen over the unseen sunscreen but i know that this one is like their top seller so i get why it's in this box a lot of people love 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 this i'm not a huge fan of sunscreen 
sunscreens that feel like silicone. I like something that feels more like a moisturizer, you know, or like a glowy primer or something like that. But this is really nice if you have oily skin and also you can use this as a makeup primer. I would recommend that if you do use this, apply it to your face and let it completely dry before putting anything on top of it and you should be good to go. I love that we have our first sunscreen product. Day 15, this would be the start of a week three. Wow. I'm just imagining opening each one of these once a day and how fun would it be to have like a brand new incredible product every day. Okay, day 15 is right here, another tall box. These tall boxes are fun to me. The Seated Queen Cold Cream Evening Cleanser and it says Night Mask. One soothing night product, three ways. Makeup remover, cleanser, facial, or overnight mask. Plumps, smooths, dull, dehydrated skin, intensely moisturizing, restores suppleness, improves elasticity, made with rose hip and borage seed. Okay, that is so interesting. So it's a makeup remover or a mask. I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys. The only cold cream that I am familiar with is Pond's and I didn't like Pond's like growing up, but I haven't used it in years. So who knows if I would like it now. This is such an interesting product to me and I can't wait to try it. Oh, it smells good. This smells like a spa too. It really smells like something like if I were laying down and getting a facial from my esthetician and she used this, I'd be like, that must be a good product because it smells really good. <laughs> look at look at how thick that is. Definitely holds its shape right there. I think it's so interesting that it's a makeup remover and an overnight mask as well. Oh, and a cleanser. Like that's interesting. This smells like something from Lush. Oh, you know what this smells like? One of their um their cleansers the like the loose cleansers you know i have to look it up but it smells just like a lush cleanser that either i used to use or my sister used to use or both of us used to have i don't know it smells just like that i'm a little hesitant about a lotion type of texture being a makeup remover but i'm not gonna knock it till i try it so i will let you guys know this may end up being like an overnight mask type of thing are we on 16 16's down here Bro, I'm shook. I don't even, I just saw that. That's all I saw. I didn't even see the name of it. Do you guys know what this is? Do you know what brand this is? That's why I reacted the way that I did. I, I'm being so dramatic, I'm so sorry. Augustinus Bader, I should know how to say this because I, I attended one of the Sephora events. Augustinus Bader, the rich cream. So how did I get this? During one of my Sephora orders, I think, I did one of the codes to receive like a small sample size. And I'm telling you guys, it's like, it's like this big. And I have been making that thing work. Like I have been using that for a while. I use like, not even a pea size. I'm like really not even a pea size. Like I just Dude, dude, like right where I need it because I know this thing is expensive. Wow, I'm so shocked right now. This is an incredible value. Like truly, this is an incredible value. I believe that you can purchase this size, the 0.5 fluid ounce. I don't think that this is a sample size. Like I actually think that you can buy this. Like I said, I have been using this rich cream and wow, it feels incredible. The way that this spreads onto the skin, when you first apply it, it feels like it's going to be a very rich thick cream but once you move your hand through it it completely melts down and it becomes a very slick type of moisturizer that just absorbs into the skin and in the morning when i wake up my skin still looks super hydrated it definitely absorbs some of the product and you can tell but what's left is very glowy very supple skin and wow it is incredible like truly guys i'm sorry if that was like over the top dramatic i didn't mean to do that i was just so excited that truly is like my first reaction my initial reaction to something like that because that is insane to me that was day 16 so now we're on day 17 right here is day 17 oh we have a natasha denona bronze and highlighting powder how cute is this is there is there a shade this is super cute i believe that i've seen this being sold at sephora and I thought that it was such a cute little palette. Natasha Denona is an incredible makeup brand that has incredible eyeshadows, first of all, if you guys don't know that. I'm sure you do, though. Wait, 
I don't know if this bronzer is gonna work for me. It's a toss up, right? I feel like it's right in between what I need. Like if it was a tiny, like just a hair darker, I feel like, I don't know, it might work for me, but this highlight though, oh, you know what this could be? An eyeshadow duo for sure. Should I swatch it? Oh wait, I think that maybe this bronzer would work, look. It swatches a little bit darker than it looks in the pan. Sometimes when I swatch bronzers that look like this in swatches, they actually do show up really nicely on my skin. They're the kind of bronzers that I'll look at and be like, those won't work, but they end up being the perfect shade for me because I always end up going too dark and then it gets too muddy, you know? But that actually looks like it might work really well for me. That again is quite a toss up to add into a box like this because you're going to have an array of skin tones purchasing this this box, if this does not work for you as a bronzer or a highlight, then you can for sure try it on the eyes, see how it does. I mean, Natasha Denona powder formulations are very famous. They're super buttery and blendable. So I'm definitely going to be trying that out on my face as well as on my eyes. All right, let's go in with day 18 now. So it's the last box at the very bottom right here and it's a longer box. I'm going to guess that it's some sort of face mask. What's oh, heavy? There's a bunch of products in here. Shut up. Not you, not anyone. There's a Rowan product in here and I've never used Rowan and I've wanted to use Rowan. Let me show you guys what this is. Fluff up brow wax. This is my go-to guys, you know this. I've been talking about this a lot actually. I really, really like this product and I actually repurchased it even before the Sephora sale started because I ran out of my other mini. So I got another mini and now I have another mini. <laughs> I just need to get a full size at this point. I love this product. I think that it's so good to really mold the shape of your brows and then fill them in and then set it with a different brow gel. But this is incredible if you have really stubborn brows that just don't wanna work with you. Maybe it's a little too difficult to get like a clear brow gel to get them in place. And I really like this because it almost makes me feel like my brows look thicker, like I can make them really, really fluffy. This is definitely one of the standout products from Benefit in my opinion. So I'm really happy that this is the product that was included in the box. Okay, what is this? Byredo Astronomical Mascara Volume. You know, I'm very, very picky about my mascaras. You guys know this already because my lashes don't want to stand for anything other than waterproof or Asian mascaras, but I am so down to try this. I've heard good things about this brand. I think that this is going to be pretty promising and you know if it doesn't work on its own I will try it with like a waterproof primer like my Maybelline Full and Soft. I'll use that underneath and then I'll try this on top or I'll use like my Asian mascara as a base or my Asian mascara primer as a base and then I'll try this. I mean there are plenty of ways to try it out so I will keep you guys updated on that. By the way I will be using like all of these products. Check my Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram if you want to see more quick updates because it's a lot easier for me to just post a story than it is to post a whole YouTube video. $19.99 Precision Color Pencil in Barna. I love my Makeup by Mario brown pencil and I was just thinking today like that's the most I've used of a brown pencil and I'm probably going to repurchase it soon but now I have this so I'm definitely going to be trying this one. I love a good fresh pointed pencil tip you know. Oh that's good pigmentation. Do you guys see how easily that drew on my hand and it's evenly pigmented looks nice and creamy oh and you can blend it out i hope it sets down really nicely oh my gosh this is so exciting rowan eyes on me eyeshadow palette i was going to purchase this but you know it's one of those things where i'm like i know it's gonna be good but i just don't want to spend the money on it it's something that i haven't been able to physically touch and get my hands on and figure out if like it's really something i want but now i have it so how beautiful are those creams i think there are two creams and two powders in this oh yeah that's a cream so it seems like there are two creams in this you know i just saw the brand Rabon, and i've been like wanting to get their eyeshadows but this might hold me over wow pigment baby oh i thought that was gonna be a chunky glitter this one right here i thought that was gonna be a super chunky glitter but it actually looks like a metallic oh and it looks like it's a duochrome it kind of looks like it has some pinky reflect in there wow that swatched 
so buttery smooth Let's see if i can show you guys wow these swatches are very not straight right now because <laughs> i'm trying to show you pigment but those are incredible those are pigmented they're smooth they didn't skip they're buttery okay what's this little cult beauty baggie there are five things in this one box oh it looks like a little compact mirror merit sent me one a couple weeks back but before that i hadn't had a compact mirror in years that's pretty and it's not a squishy texture but it's a soft texture you know you have the magnifying and just the regular side and it says cult beauty and the artwork matches the box so you're always gonna have a little piece of the box with you i'm kind of overwhelmed by just that <laughs> what a great day that is gonna be such a fun day for you whenever you open it up or whoever opens it up wow i'm blown away by that five products products one day okay let's move along now day 19 right up here right next to me dr dennis gross the alpha beta universal daily peel these are great i'll say that these are really perfect if you're preparing for an event or if you have a big vacation coming up and you want your skin to look absolutely flawless and glass like these are great they do have a more intense i think it's like the extreme version of this but i think that having just the normal universal daily peel is perfect for this box because not everyone's skin can take something as extreme as like chemical peels you know but i'm excited to have this i haven't had one of these in so long actually and there are three treatments in here so that's perfect day 20 is actually right over here all on its lonesome Ooh, elemis oh it's a shower cream frangipani manoi shower cream oh there's two things in here way scalp and body scrub in melrose place little shower box okay i see you incredible a shower cream that's really beautiful instead of just like a foamy gel or something like that mm. Sorry guys, I'm so bad with explaining scents, but very clean smell, kind of like, you know, just a regular soap or detergent or something like that. Frangipani, Manoi, I'm guessing it smells like the flower, the floral. It's a luxurious cream wash. I love that I get a bunch of these smaller body care and skincare products because not the worst thing in the world, but one of the like more unfortunate things when it comes to beauty is when you do commit yourself to a kind of pricey, body products and then you kind of get bored through like after using it a while or you're like I don't know if I like this that much but this is nice because these are things that I for sure can go through myself this way scrub mm, I love this Melrose place scent it smells like a vacation it smells like the beach it definitely has a good amount of floral scent to it but it also smells kind of like not sunscreen but it, it gives you that same beachy effect you know they actually have this in a perfume and when I worked at Ulta, I used to spray myself with the Melrose Place perfume before my shifts and I loved it. It would like just waft around me and it smelled so good. And I'm not even a big floral girl, but I loved it because this scent is not overpowering. It's not aggressive or really like offensive. A lot of these days are themed. Like if you have multiple products in there, they kind of follow the same theme. So this one is like shower and then day 18 was like makeup. Oh, and then we have that day that was like three hair products so really really pretty it seems very intentional i really like that day 21 here she is <gasps> glow recipe it's the plum plump hyaluronic cream dewy moisture and plump oh my goodness i have been wanting to use this Ugh, i love glow recipe products because a lot of them do tend to be lighter in texture but still really hydrating so for someone like me that has oily skin their packaging is unbeatable it's so cute and they do their packaging so well i love the glass jars like it just feels luxe and if you just have like their whole line on your bathroom shelves or counter or something it just looks like such a fun a fun skincare brand it's something that i feel like people truly truly would enjoy using i love something that can just absorb into my skin really nicely but still leave me feeling hydrated doesn't look like it's all the way full Ooh, it's jelly that texture look at this texture guys it feels Feels very jelly very whipped almost no scent to it which I'm happy about that feels so moisturizing even though it's more of that gel texture I feel like this is something that I could definitely use morning and nighttime like I feel like this is going to give me 
just enough hydration at night and it's gonna give me plenty of hydration during the day. I'm so excited to try that out. Glow recipe has been really intriguing me lately. We are on our last week. So day 22, Conserving Beauty Conserve You Face Oil. We have not gotten a facial oil, just a facial oil. We have gotten the body hair face oil, but this one specifically, is for your face. It says delivers a dewy glow, ultra nourishing plant-based oil will help moisturize skin, leaving it smooth and radiant. What is the oil in this? Sunflower seed oil, cannabis sativa seed oil. Is that weed? Oh, there's a lot of different oils in this. You know what this reminds me of? This kind of looks like a cuticle oil. <laughs> I don't think it has a scent. I'm gonna do a little drop on the back of my hand here. It's kind of a thinner oil and it does have a little bit more runniness to it. Those types of oils do tend to absorb a lot faster into my skin. I'm just gonna wipe off what's on my fingers, but I'm not gonna wipe this off. I wanna see if it actually like absorbs. So this is perfect. I've never heard of this brand. I'm gonna have to look more into it. Day 23, here we go. Oh, Sunday Riley, and it's a full size? Good jeans. So I got a very small, like a mini one in the Ulta advent calendar, but dang, this is a full size, guys. So this is a glycolic acid treatment. It is an exfoliating serum, and I'm a big fan of this. I really love this. I received this in gratis when I worked at Ulta back a couple years ago, and it's so nice. It actually leaves your skin looking like glass after you finish your nighttime skincare routine and the next morning I feel like my skin looks like a baby's bottom like it is so smooth really glowy and I feel like if I have any sort of like whiteheads or blackheads or anything, they're definitely more diminished when I use this product. Really nice. It's also not super irritating on the skin. I actually don't think it's irritating at all on my skin. It is a glycolic acid. I feel like more people can tolerate glycolic acid on their skin versus like a mandelic acid or a lactic acid or something. I still have my full size from when I worked at Ulta, but I can assure you that thing is expired, but I still use it. <laughs> but maybe I should switch it out now that I have this one. All right, day 24, second to last. Let's see what they have in store for us. Ooh, it's in there. It's really in there. Ooh, Verdin Urbanon bath oil. Okay, so we have another oil, but this one is a bath oil. I don't take baths though, guys. So I wonder if this is something that you can use as a shower oil. Probably not, right? Like this is something that you drip into your bath. This actually might be something that I will be re-gifting because I don't really take baths. They're not really my journey. They don't really bring me the same joy that I know it brings a lot of other people. A little bit of variety because we don't have bath specific things in this box just yet. But second to last day, we get one. So that's great. The last day and the biggest box right here, the 25th day, Christmas day, guys. Let's see what Cult Beauty is going to gift you and me for Christmas, shall we? Feels heavy. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Mm, already, I'm excited. Fable and Main, baby. That is one of my absolute favorite hair care brands. The Holly Roots hair oil. This is a pre-wash hair oil, so you do like a dropper of it through your scalp, massage it in, and you can leave it for 30 minutes, an hour, even overnight. Me personally, I like to leave it for about two hours before I shower, and then you just rinse it out. Doesn't leave any oily residue, makes your scalp feel nice and nourished. I don't have as much flaking when I use this hair oil. The actual brand itself they are incredible people i just uh, i love this i love that i have this mini because honestly whenever i run out of this i'm going to fill it with my full size so i can bring it with me everywhere i go i highly recommend to everyone to be using pre-wash oils because i'm telling you the health of my scalp has never been better since using this do forever eye masks i just got some ads on tiktok for this and i have been dying to try this brand how cute is that so these are reusable you use any type of cream or eye serum or whatever you may want to use that day on your skin and then you put these right on top and this will help it really penetrate and absorb into the skin because it'll stop the product from like evaporating out and then you have your little tin in here so you can keep them in here after you wash them after you use them biosant squalane and marine algae eye cream i've actually used this in the past and it's really really nice but i will say it is a 
thick, thick, thick eye cream. So if you have normal to extra dry skin, this would be really nice for you. But for me, it's a little bit too thick for my skin type, you know? Sometimes with this one, I'm like patting away for quite some time and then I get a little impatient so I start like rubbing at it, which is not good. I would definitely recommend this to someone that needs that extra moisture around their eye area. Next, we have this Ren bio retinoid youth serum we didn't have a retinol specific serum in this box we did have that retinol eye cream and i have tried their what is it the toner the toner is really nice use am and pm i know that some retinols are safe to use during the day as long as you wear sunscreen but honestly I keep them reserved to my PM skincare routine just because I don't want to risk it and I also feel like my skin is happy that way. I don't feel like I need to use it during the day. It says it uses Biden's Pelosa, a plant-derived alternative to retinol. Okay, so maybe that's why you can use it during the day because there's not actual vitamin A in it. I'll bite. I feel like that is very promising. Is this the last thing? Oh, there's another thing in here. <laughs> Votary, Votari, Votary, soften your skin super sensitive cleansing cream chia and oat extract free from fragrance and allergens hello that sounds right up my alley another cream makeup remover i'm guessing you can use it interchangeably as a makeup remover and a cleanser so we'll see i am more interested in using this as an actual cleanser oh it's free of fragrance i'm like sniffing it like oh by the way that oil is still on there that face oil and it seems to have absorbed fully like i don't have a lot of slip but i do see the hydration like you see that compared to this side and last in the box we have another one of these little pouches from Colt Beauty. Such a cute little eye mask, kind of like a souvenir from the box. Oh, is this a pillowcase? It's a Colt Beauty silk pillowcase. Absolutely beautiful because I only use silk pillowcases on my hair. Ever since I got my hair permed, I completely switched over to silk pillowcases and they have been a game changer for my hair. My hair is so much more healthy for it. I would definitely recommend that you use a silk pillowcase because it helps with any breakage, any damage, like it'll help to prevent that because your hair really does just like slip on the silk pillowcase, but it's not like slippery, <laughs> you know? There were six different products. Well, uh, technically seven if you count the two separate in here, but there were seven products in this last day, Christmas day. They really said, let me end this with a bang. We are completely done with our box. Now I wanna look at the pamphlet to see yeah, so right here, you do see all the products that you get within the box. Also, this product photography is killer. It's so good. Oh, they donate some of the proceeds from the advent calendars. Supporting previously marginalized communities close to our heart, LGBTQIA+, Black and ethnic minorities, and those experiencing reproductive life cycle challenges. That's so nice. Oh, and it tells you what is deluxe sample size, what is sample size, what is full. So it's 39 pieces. You get 39 products in this 25 day advent calendar. You guys, I am like thoroughly blown away by this advent calendar. This is an incredible, incredible value. I will put on the screen here the value of this box and what I purchased it for with the discount and everything. Honestly, I'm going to sit here and tell you guys this is absolutely worth it. If you have a loved one, if you have even a friend, I guess, that you think would enjoy this. I mean, if you have anyone in your life that likes skincare, likes makeup, they will be absolutely blown away by this gift. This is incredible. Even if you purchase this for yourself like I did for myself, I mean, technically I purchased it for you guys. I think that you will absolutely love this. Just like forget about this video. Block it out of your memory. Open it up on every day and just be surprised by it and I'm excited for you. Let me know what you guys think about this box. Let me know what product in here also was the most shocking for you. I cannot wait to start digging into these products. Again, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I do try my best to do like reels and TikToks on like mini reviews and stuff, but if I can't get to that, I always post on my Instagram stories. So check those out. Make sure you follow me on there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. We have one more coming up and it's from Space and Gay. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!